Now this illustration deals with other local metal underground systems or structures that are outlined in 250.52A7 and A8, uh, where uh, these are the only uh, items that you would have uh, available to you uh, as a, uh, an electrode type system. Now in the code loop, a driven rod, we suggest you see 250.52A5, 250.53A, 250.53G, and 250.66A. And you get a good feel for that driven rod, where it can be used, where it can't be used, how it could be used, etc. And remember, it could be used as the electrode. It could be used to supplement the water pipe. It could also be used as an auxiliary ground for equal potential grounding uh, for diversion of surges and so forth, particular pieces of equipment located outdoors. Uh, uh, and, you know, we really look at uh, 250.56 for that one, if you want to add that to your mind to that uh, code loop. And in the code loop for the ground ring, uh, C 250.52A4, 250.53F, and 250.66C. And we get a very good feel uh, for that. The next code loop is plates. And 250.52A7, 250.53H, 250.66A handles that. And you know, a plate, a... Uh, uh, should be uh, installed at, uh, at the first moisture level, uh, you know. So usually they say rock will hold good moisture above that, so you put it there. Clay, where you had sand maybe turn into clay. That is always suggested to, if you're using a plate, as you see. Now, uh, you have plate electrodes. You might have an underground tank, but what kind of tank is it? You'd want to check with that and see, does it have gasoline? What kind of tank is it that you have there? And then you may have a metal well casing, and uh, based upon that casing, you might be reading two to three ohms uh, on that uh, grounding electrode conductor. So uh, what this illustration is showing is that you would uh, ground to uh, these other local metal type uh, electrodes where the other electrodes are not present to you and not available to you. And then, of course, you're going to size these in accordance uh, to the section. For that plate that you see there, plate electrodes, that's 250.66A, number six. To that metal casing, that would be, uh, if you had a foil conductor up there, that'd be a number two to connect to it. The ground ring, say number two, you'd have number two to connect to that. So, so, so again, it depends on how these electrodes are present, and then are you bonding them together, and then that would determine what would be the size of your uh, uh, bonding jumper or grounding electrode, depending the type of system that you had. So this figure 16-64B is illustrating other local metal electrodes that could be used in accordance with uh, 250.52A7 and A8 of the NEC.